Hello everybody, I'm here to show you how to connect your Etsy store to Pin Generator. If you don't know Pin Generator, it's a tool that you can use to generate Pinterest pins from any URL on the internet. And there's a lot of Etsy users on the platform. And so I've built a direct Etsy integration for you to connect your Etsy store directly to Pin Generator so you can generate pins. So first things first, open up pingenerator.com, uh, log into your profile. And then once you've logged in, you'll see here, there's a products option. You can select products and you'll see uh, the products page. I've already got a couple of stores here, uh, a testing one and this one here. So I'm gonna delete that one uh, so I can show you how to reconnect uh, it. Um, so firstly, this is a beta version, so don't bite my head off if there's a bug. Um, there might be, if you do find one, please report it to me. You can make contact with me uh, via this little contact button down here um, and so let's connect your store you simply go to add Etsy store it'll open an authentication page uh, where you need to sign into Etsy and then it asks for a connection to your account so it basically asks just to connect to your account and see all your listings see your profile data and your email and you once you grant access you'll be redirected to pin generator and it'll add your store. So you can see it's added this pin generator store and activated it. And this is my little store in Etsy here where I sell uh, my Pinterest template service, which is basically pin generator. Uh, and the store is connected. So you can see here all my store products. Um, firstly, we've got a checkbox where you can check multiple sets of pins or one or two. Uh, and you can select how many pins you want to generate for each product. So let's do a quick test. We want to generate 10 pins just for this uh, product here. We go generate pins and boom, it generates the pins here. So my images aren't great because, uh, well, <laughs> my images that are on my products are full of lots of details. So it looks a bit messy here. Um, but let's go back to the products tab. So you'll see that all the images that you have available from your Etsy store are shown here. So these are the images that will be used to generate your pins with. And these are, of course, the images that you use for your Etsy product. So if you go to this one, these are the same images that are used all down here. So that my pictures are quite busy, um, which is uh, why they are uh, so full on the on the templates but you can see you've got your product name here the description of the product this is all pulled from Etsy and these are the tags or categories that uh, your product has uh, here's the price of your product and if you want to view the product in Etsy you can simply click this link button to view it on Etsy so you can multi-select for pins uh, and oh you can also search pins so let's say I want to search for the 100 plus Pinterest templates It'll give you a, a filtered list of your products, which you can select. And when you remove the filter, you know, you've got, it retains your selection of the filter. So let's say I wanted to generate pins for these two products. Let's say I want to do two products each. And we go generate, boom, you've got all your pins here. So that's nice and quick way to uh, generate pins for your products. So what's really cool about this is that it doesn't have to go and scan your Etsy site anymore. So if you really wanted to, you could do 50 pins uh, and you gotta check that box and generate. And it's really good at generating tons of pins for you now. So this is an even faster way for you guys to generate pins for your Etsy stores. So you can also uh, add multiple Etsy shops. So if you've got a couple of shops, you can add multiple ones and uh, this, the connection procedure is the same. You click on this button and you go through uh, authentication. Make sure that you're logged in onto the correct Etsy store though, because when this opens up a new tab, it's gonna open up the Etsy tab with the store that you're already logged in on. And for me, that's pin generator here. So if I wanted to connect this other store, I would go to Etsy and I'd log out of this account, I'd sign out, and then I'd sign into this testing account that I had here and then I'd start the uh, authentication, the connection to the store. Um, so once you've got more than one store connected, you can easily uh, switch between stores by just simply checking the, uh, the check mark and now it jumps to your next store. And there's some wonderful pictures of me looking funny. These are my YouTube thumbnails. 
So save your laughs for later. Uh, and yeah, they all pull through here to pins that you can create. And of course you can customize your pins uh, however you want um, as usual. So yeah, uh, lastly, if you want to remove a store or disconnect it, you can just simply click the unlink button and the store goes away. Cool, so that's the direct integration to Etsy. Um, I hope you guys find it useful. Leave me comments or requests or feature uh, bugs in the comments below or contact me directly via this contact page here. I'm all ears and happy pinning and I'll catch you in the next one.